What's the perfect amount of wine to serve in a glass? How many servings are in a standard wine bottle? And how many bottles do you need for your gathering or party? Be sure to stay tuned to find out. Hey friends and wine lovers, welcome back. I'm Mark Supsick, certified wine professional and founder of Wine Living. Now this week, I wanna drop a quick sips wine tip on you. By the end of this video, you're gonna know how to better plan for and serve your guests wine at your gatherings and events. Let's start with the portion size. When you go to a restaurant or a bar, chances are you're gonna get a five ounce serving. That's pretty much the industry standard. Some restaurants are a little more generous and will pour six ounces. To see what that looks like, grab yourself a measuring cup, pour five ounces of water into it, and then into one of your favorite wine glasses. You can even take a picture of it with your cell phone, just in case you need to refer back to the image. Depending on your personal drinking habits, this may seem like a small portion size, but one technique that bars and restaurants employ quite often, smaller glasses. With a smaller glass, it seems like you're getting more, and in most cases, customers actually believe they're getting more. Something else to consider, and it's kind of controversial, is that many bars and restaurants mark up their wine prices by two to 300%. Roughly speaking, this one glass of wine here is gonna cost you, the customer, the same amount that the restaurant pays for the entire bottle. So then, how many servings are there in a bottle of wine? A standard wine bottle has 750 milliliters, or roughly 25.5 ounces. That means you can get about five five-ounce servings out of a bottle. And if you go with a larger pour, six ounces, you'll get about four servings out of a bottle with a few drips left at the end. Okay then, well, how do you plan ahead for a gathering? Calculate the number of wine drinkers in the house and divide by five for five servings per bottle. If you have 20 guests, that means you'll need at least four bottles to cover them. Now that's only one serving. The average person can handle about one drink per hour, so you have to multiply the number of servings times the number of hours you expect to be hosting. So by our calculations, if your party lasts for four hours, you'll need four bottles for every hour or 16 bottles of wine for 20 people. I usually grab a variety, sparkling, white, rosé, and red, and I go heavy on certain wines depending on the season. In colder weather, for example, get more reds because that's what people usually drink in the wintertime. Keep in mind, we all know those people who drink faster than the average person, and uh, then some drink slower too, so usually it averages out. Many people stop drinking before the end of the night, some slow down, so typically you're gonna have leftovers. But if your group likes to drink and you know that, you may wanna grab a couple extra bottles. It should go without saying to always keep the safety of your guests in mind when you're serving. A whole bottle of wine is a lot to consume over the course of a night, even if it is a four or five hour night. Make sure you offer your guests plenty of water, give them the option of Uber or even your couch if they need to, to uh, stay safe. Well, I hope that helps you a little bit in getting your wine planning together for your next gathering or event. And I'm sure I'll do one down the road for spirits too, so that you can get your whole cocktail situation together. All right, my friends, thanks so much for joining me this week. And of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I would love that. Offer me some comments below, like and share with your friends too. And be sure to check out some of the other 200 or so tasty videos I've got prepared for you here on the Wine Living channel. Until next video, take care of yourself and cheers.